Chapter 319 Tang Sect vs Body Sect. Who are you? laughed and said, Do you think they'll let us off even if we don't use it? The Sun Moon Empire must have some scheme in this tournament. There's one thing I'm certain of. They won't expose their scheme before the tournament ends. They'll watch their behavior up until that point. Bei Bei nodded and said, All right, this will be the competing order in the individual elimination round. Yu is first, I'm second, Dong is third. If we fight until the fourth person, Sanchi will compete. Shu Sanchi appeared very depressed as he said, Why am I near the back? Bei Bei said, You don't specialize in attacking. Furthermore, you are the core of our strategy in the team round. When that time comes, you'll be the one in charge of many strategies. How can we operate if you don't conserve your fighting strength? What you are going to do will be very dangerous. Shu Sanchi nodded. That's true. I'm always so important. Everyone turned away and acted like they didn't know him. After this, they discussed some details of the tournament. An hour before the start of the tournament, they dispersed to their rooms to rest for a couple of hours. The reason was simple. The first match of the afternoon was between the Star Luo National Academy and the Holy Ghost Sect. There was no need to watch this match, since the gap between both parties' abilities was too wide. The Star Luo National Academy didn't even stand a fighting chance. The second match of the afternoon was scheduled to start two hours after the first match. Even if the first match ended early, some buffer time was still needed. It was actually very important to watch the Holy Ghost Church compete. However, it was more crucial for the Tang Sect to win this round. If they couldn't beat the Snow Demon Sect, they didn't need to bother with the rest of to bother with the rest of the tournament anymore. They had to keep themselves in their best states. Na Na, Nan Kayo Kayo, Jing Zian, and Ji Juikin all proceeded to the tournament venue first. Very soon, Na Na returned with news that the Star Luo National Academy had only put up slight resistance for show before they announced their forfeiture. The gap in their abilities was too huge. Princess Juju didn't want the outstanding young talents of the Star Luo Empire to perish in this tournament, as there was no way they could win. It was better to lose without suffering any casualties. The Tang Sect only arrived ten minutes before their match. Everyone found this very strange. Aren't they concerned at all? This shouldn't happen. After Huo Yuao entered the resting area, Princess Juju took the initiative to welcome him. We've lost. Let's see how you'll fare. Princess Juju smiled at Huo Yuao and Bei Bei as she greeted them. Huo Yuao asked, Your Highness, you seem to be in good spirits. Princess Juju snorted and replied, So what if I'm in good spirits? Can it decide the outcome of the tournament? It's better if the tournament ends earlier for us. We are going to return tomorrow morning. Don't forget our agreement. She sounded a little flirtatious here. Wang Donga couldn't help but raise her brows when she saw this. Huo Yuao smiled and said, I won't forget that. It is my honor to serve Your Highness. Princess Juju bent her waist and her lips reached Huo Yuao's ears before whispering something. After that, she straightened up and said, All right, I wish you success in the tournament. We'll watch this match before leaving. Huo Yuao didn't make a sound. However, he appeared very surprised. Princess Juju's voice was very soft. Only he knew what she said. Wang Donga couldn't help but pinch Huo Yuao as they were in the resting area. Confess, I didn't know you were actually so popular with the ladies. Even the princess is interested in you. Huo Yuao looked at her grinning face and knew that she didn't believe Princess Juju had anything to do with him. He couldn't help but laugh. Yes. To be fancied by her highness, it shows how handsome and suave your husband is. Such thick skin. Wang Dongo had a clown face at him. What did she say to you? So mysterious. Huo Yuao softly said something. Everyone from the Tang Sect became very stunned after this. Wang Dongo even said, How did it turn out this way? We are really. Let's take this one step at a time. We should prepare to enter the waiting area. Huo Yuao appeared very calm right now. Bei Bei patted his shoulder and said, Little Junior, you must remember not to force anything. I will remember. Don't worry, eldest Thena, who are you are nodded. At this stage of the tournament, there wasn't any need for anyone to hide their abilities anymore. Shrek's seven monsters finally revealed their strengths. On the other side, everyone from the Snow Demon Sect had already made their way to the waiting area. Just like who are you are had expected, most of the main team members from the Snow Demon Sect in the previous few rounds, including Yu Shui, didn't move at all. Most of the people who stood up were substitutes who had never competed before. The only familiar face to who are you are was the person at the back of the Snow Demon Sect team. Her hair was tied in a braid, and she appeared very amicable and gentle. She was Princess Wei Na. Yes, Yu Shui wasn't going to compete, but Wei Na was going to. This signified many things. Before this, Princess Juju had whispered this to who are you are. Be careful of Wei Na. She's not simple. Even though they were just eight simple words, Wei Na's appearance seemed to support Princess Juju's words. Who are you are became more cautious. Three out of the four semi-finalists had been decided. Team Shrek, Team Heavenly Dragon, and Team Holy Ghost were the three current semi-finalists. The last semi-finalist would be decided after this match. As the previous three quarter-final matches seemed to be very one-sided, the excitement died down, and the spectators had a lot of hope for the last quarter-final match. Wei Na seemed to feel who are you are watching her as both parties into the waiting area. She turned to take a look at him and smiled at him sweetly. Who are you are nodded at her. It was a form of greeting, no matter the result, or whether the Snow Demon Sect was a front for the body sect. He knew that they weren't enemies. If the body sect snuck into the Heavenly Soul Empire, it was beneficial for them in their resistance against the Sun Moon Empire. The enemy of one's enemy was one's friend. Moreover, the Heavenly Soul Empire was the Tang Sect's biggest client. Zeng Zan when he saw the Tang Sect. Apart from Wang Kua, the Tang Sect had given him the greatest headaches in all the rounds that he refereed. The Tang Sect's members didn't follow the rules and were very difficult to deal with. His attention was first caught by Wang Donga, and he immediately became more focused. Quarterfinal to the semi final. This is the last quarterfinal match Snow Demon Sect versus the Tang Sect. Both parties, please send your first members up for the individual elimination round. The unbreakable Dilo shouted. A tall young man stood up on the Snow Demon Sect side. He took a step forward and ascended the stage. At the same time, he looked over at the Tang Sect. After that, he saw Wang Donga standing up. Others might underestimate the Tang Sect, but the Snow Demon Sect wouldn't. That was because the Snow Demon Sect had Yu Shui and Wei Na, who were both quite familiar with Huo Yuao and Wang Donga. They had already treated the Tang Sect as their opponent, and thus they had been monitoring the Tang Sect's fights. In this tournament, there weren't many people who had cultivations that were six or more rings. Among them, Wang Donga was one of the most outstanding ones. It wasn't just because she looked like Wang Qiu's sister, but more importantly, it was because of her great abilities. Against the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy, Wang Donga had fully demonstrated her abilities and cultivation. She had left a deep impression in many people's minds. Furthermore, it wasn't a secret anymore that Wang Donga and Huo Yuao had twin martial souls. Souls. After all, they had accomplished great things in the previous tournament. As a result, the young man from the Snow Demon Sect turned serious when he saw her standing up. The two most monitored members of the Tang Sect were Wang Donga and Shu Sanchi. Hik2 came in third. Hik2 was a class 6 soul engineer and 6 ring soul emperor. He had left a deep impression in everyone's minds during the team round against the Clear Jade Sect. His eye of fear was the nightmare of his opponents. Huo Yuao was the fourth most monitored in the Tang Sect. After all, he was stuck as a soul king. In everyone's eyes, a soul king and soul emperor were very vastly different. Just as the young man was shuddering in his heart, he was suddenly stunned. That was because Wang Donga didn't ascend the stage directly. She walked behind Huo Yuao's wheelchair and pushed his wheelchair towards the stage. Wasn't Wang Donga going to compete first? Wasn't she going to imitate her elder sister's fighting style? Everyone was baffled. After that, they saw Wang Donga pushing Huo Yuao's wheelch
The young man from the Snow Demon sect looked relieved. After all, Hua Yuao was only a soul king. In terms of individual abilities, Hua Yuao was at most the fourth strongest in the Tang sect. In addition, Hua Yuao was a control type soul master, and he was even crippled. He wasn't much of a threat. Wei Na also furrowed her brow in the waiting area. She didn't understand why the Tang sect would send Hua Yuao out first. From their looks earlier, they must have had guessed something. Wasn't a control type soul master like Hua Yuao supposed to be reserved for the team round? She also revealed a pensive look as she thought about that. As she recalled how sly Hua Yuao was during the negotiation earlier, Wei Na couldn't help but develop an ominous feeling. On the stage, both parties quickly reached the center. They waited on opposing sides of Zheng Zan. Both parties, please report your names. Zheng Zan said formally. Tang sect, Hua Yuao, Snow Demon sect, Wang Yanfeng. Wang Yanfeng was more than 190 centimeters tall. His body was big and burly. The white attire that he wore was very tight. He had short hair, and his eyes were filled with energy. Although he wasn't very handsome, he gave off a very mature feeling. His sharp eyes seemed able to penetrate a person's heart. Although they hadn't started competing yet, Hua Yuao could sense a dominant aura from his body. Zheng Zan looked at Zheng Zan looked at both parties and said, Step back and prepare for the start of the fight. Let me reiterate, try not to go too hard on your opponent. When I judge that either of you can't handle it anymore, I will end this fight. Although only Hua Yuao's right arm could move, he was very deft as he controlled his wheelchair. He rolled his wheelchair back to his side of the stage. Wang Yanfeng didn't say anything either. He only nodded at Hua Yuao before turning to the other side of the stage. Very soon, both parties got into their respective positions. They turned around and faced each other. Zheng Zan raised his hand up high and shouted, Begin. Wang Yanfeng immediately moved. His toes pushed off as he burst towards Hua Yuao. He was very quick, but wasn't as violent as Wang Kua. However, he seemed illusory throughout the entire process. It seemed as if he was bursting forward, but Hua Yuao couldn't walk onto him, even with his spiritual detection. Wang Yanfeng was moving from side to side at an extremely high speed. Hua Yuao immediately made his judgment. Both parties unleashed their martial souls at almost the same time. Huo Yuao had two yellow, two purple, and one black soul ring. Everyone from the Tang sect knew he was using his imitation now. Apart from Wang Donga, no one really knew the colors of Huo Yuao's soul rings. Six soul rings rose from Wang Yanfeng's feet. There were two yellow, two purple, and two black soul rings. His aura also grew stronger and stronger. Huo Yuao didn't move a single centimeter. Remaining in his position, his right hand pointed forward, and a petite figure shot out from his brow. She grew in size as she moved, and turned into the appearance of a little girl, drifting two meters in front of Huo Yuao. It was the snow lady. Once the little snow lady appeared, the temperature around Huo Yuao quickly fell. Wang Yanfeng seemed to slow down as he burst forward. He had evidently unleashed his martial soul, but nothing could be seen. What was his martial soul? If not for the fact that Huo Yuao had formulated his before the fight even started, he would have been in a spot right now. Wang Yanfeng was less than 30 meters from the snow lady right now. At this point, he suddenly shouted and jumped forward. His legs landed steadily on the ground, and he clenched his fists while raising his hands up. After that, he hammered his fists down. He was still 30 meters from Huo Yuao and the snow lady right now, so it wasn't possible for his fists to strike them. He was hammering the ground. A bronze green glow spread from his fists. As his fists pounded the ground, there wasn't any sound at all. However, a wave of green gas swept towards Huo Yuao and the snow lady. It was a very strong shock wave. Huo Yuao was in awe. His opponent's attack wasn't unleashed using pure strength and soul power. It involved some level of technique and strength control. It was a combination of strength and technique. He was indeed a talent from the body sect. Were his fists his martial soul? In the younger generation, under generation of the body sect, Wang Yanfeng should be one of the best. Huo Yuao squinted as he faced the green dust of gas. The snow lady didn't resist it directly. On the contrary, her petite figure drifted back and landed on Huo Yuao's shoulder. Huo Yuao raised his only movable hand. A strong golden glow lit up on his palm. Following this, a golden figure appeared from his body. It wasn't quick, but it appeared just before the green dust of gas reached him. She. The wave of gas struck the figure. The figure seemed to chop it down the middle, and the two halves struck the protective barriers around the stage. A huge glow was instantly created. Neither parties used any soul skills in their first confrontation. The rest of their team members in the waiting area were in awe, especially the Snow Demon sect. Their team members were stunned. Huo Yuao didn't use his ability to summon things, but used his own soul power to tackle Wang Yanfeng. In addition, he didn't seem to have extended much energy as he overcame Wang Yanfeng's attack. They were all shocked by this level of skill. Huo Yuao didn't retract his palm. He clenched it into a fist and pushed it forward. Suddenly, the golden force was unleashed from his fist towards Wang Yanfeng. It was a pure battle of soul power. There weren't any soul skills involved. He's actually able to combine his spiritual and soul power. Whose fighting skill did he inherit? Wei Na muttered to herself. Wang Yanfeng was eagerly stunned. When they had researched Huo Yuao's abilities earlier, they were completely different. Was this even possible for a control type soul master? Isn't this a fighting method of our body sect? One of the most important principles that the body sect had was that its disciples should never use their soul skills lightly, because their opponents would become familiar with one's soul skills after each use. They should only be used at the most critical moments in order to achieve a decisive effect. Because of this, the body sect was considered one of the best in terms of their research into fighting techniques. In this aspect, even Shrek Academy couldn't compare to them. It was also one of the reasons why the body sect was so strong. However, Huo Yuao was using a fighting technique now. From how he resisted Wang Yanfeng's attack earlier, it showed that he wasn't ordinary either. His ability to counterattack in such a short period of time showed that he was indeed very strong. While Wang Yanfeng was awed, he didn't slow down. He took a step forward with his right foot and allowed his aura to rise. At the same time, he pounded his fists down again, and a blinding bronze green glow was unleashed towards the force that Huo Yuao had shot at him. Bang! An explosive ring reverberated out. The golden ring blows dispersed. Huo Yuao didn't move from where he was sitting in his wheelchair. Wang Yanfeng looked backward and retreated one step. At this point, the expressions of everyone from the Snow Demon sect, or rather the body sect, couldn't help but change. Two fists against a single fist. Huo Yuao exerted a force from an estranged distance, while Wang Yanfeng used his body to defend against it. But Wang Yanfeng was the one who suffered. This signified that Wang this signified that Wang Yanfeng was inferior to Huo Yuao in terms of his cultivation. How was this possible? He was one of the strongest from the body sect, and was even a soul emperor. On the other hand, Huo Yuao was only a soul king. Such a result left those with some insider information feeling incredulous. Wang Yanfeng's senses were very acute. When he steadied himself, he burst towards Huo Yuao without any hesitation. He opened his arms, and his first soul ring finally lit up. His arms grew to three times their original size. He attacked Huo Yuao's head as he began to glow with an intense bronze green light. The body sect was very skillful at fighting techniques because of their martial souls. As their bodies were part of their martial souls, their soul skills usually enhanced a certain part of their body. Without outstanding fighting techniques, it was impossible for them to tap into their advantage to the fullest. Huo Yuao's expression didn't change, but his eyes turned completely golden. With his spiritual detection, he could clearly sense the circulation and undulations of his opponent's soul power, as well as his strengths and weaknesses. In Wang Yanfeng's eyes, the young man in the wheelchair suddenly shot out a strong glow from his eyes before taking in a deep breath. Wang Yanfeng felt as if that simple inhalation had sucked away all the air around him. Not only did this not stop his advance, but the vacuum even drew him ahead faster and faster. This change might be slight, but the
Three palms intersected, and a huge flash of light went off, followed by the crash of the impact. The protective barriers around the stage started to ripple. Huo Yuan's wheelchair slid backward, and he knocked into the protective barrier behind him before he stopped. But Wang Yanfeng had already been struck backward. He took three steps back before he managed to steady himself, each step slamming loudly onto the metal plates of the arena stage. His upper body trembled slightly, and his face started to flush. Everyone could tell that Huo Yuan had gained the upper hand in this clash. If not for the fact that he couldn't move his legs, his advantage might have been even greater. It was a pure clash of soul power. There weren't any flowery tricks. It was a battle of their abilities. Those who had once lost to Huo Yuan and were unconvinced would immediately understand that they deserved to lose if they saw this clash between Huo Yuan and Wang Yanfeng. Both parties were forced back. However, this was only the curtain raiser. When Huo Yuan when Huo Yuan clashed with Wang Yanfeng, the snow lady was already sitting on his shoulder. Right now, she burst out like a bolt of lightning. She flashed out and appeared above Wang Yanfeng's head. She flipped around in the air and struck her palm toward his forehead. At the same time, Huo Yuan's golden eyes suddenly turned purplish gold. Two streaks of purplish gold light shot out. Wang Yanfeng only saw a patch of purplish gold light in front of him. Following this, his very soul seemed to have been struck, and everything turned white. However, his cultivation was still very strong. He had earned his soul emperor cultivation through his own efforts. Furthermore, his spiritual power was greater than most ordinary soul masters, since the body sect was very skilled in the research of fighting techniques. While Huo Yuan's spiritual shock left him in great pain, he reacted instinctively when he realized something was wrong. He raised his right arm and thrust his left arm forward, causing an intense golden light to surge from his body. It was actually an invincible barrier. The snow lady's palms the invincible barrier and was deflected away. However, the barrier turned icy blue instantly, and the temperature around it also fell significantly. While the Snow Lady's palm seemed very soft and gentle. It was actually even stronger than Huo Yuao's palm strike earlier. Huo Yuao furrowed his brow. The body sect uses soul tools too. Didn't teacher mention that they were very rigid in this aspect? It seems like they are also keeping up. Without the invincible barrier, his spiritual shock and the Snow Lady's smallest glacier would have given him the absolute advantage even if Wang Yanfeng wasn't immediately defeated. However, the barrier helped Wang Yanfeng avert this crisis. Although Huo Yuao was startled by his opponent's invincible barrier, he didn't stop his attack. Even with the invincible barrier, Wang Yanfeng was still in a trance after being hit by the spiritual shock. He was like a practice target as he stood in place. The barrier could protect him from absolute harm. However, his soul power would be greatly depleted if the invincible barrier was struck repeatedly. Huo Yuao raised his right hand, and the dark golden projection slashed down like a huge heavenly axe. When the five streaks of light appeared, all the spectators felt a chill down their spines. Boom. The icy blue layer cracked and disappeared. Huo Yuao's claws pushed Wang Yanfeng's barrier three feet into the ground. It was his dark golden terracore. The snow lady wasn't idle either. A deep blue light flashed and coordinated with Huo Yuao's attack perfectly. When the dark golden blades disappeared, an icy blue light blade of light struck the barrier ferociously. Clang. A clear and crisp sound of metal striking metal resonated out loudly. The snow demon sect was horrified to discover that there was an obvious crack on an invincible barrier activated by a six-ring soul emperor. What did this mean? It meant that the defense of the barrier was about to be overcome. This also meant that Huo Yuao and the snow lady's repeated attacks bore an offensive power that had reached a terrifying reached a terrifying level. The Snow Lady's attacks were all ultimate ice and snow, along with the Dark Gold and Terracore's destructiveness and Wang Yanfeng's inability to directly control his barrier due to his shock. Such a situation had occurred. However, Wang Yanfeng also recovered from the shock of his soul after this attack. He immediately discovered the crack in his barrier. Horrified, he quickly retreated. At the same time, his third soul ring lit up. His hands formed fists in front of him, and he punched out towards Huo Yuao. This was Wang Yanfeng's body soul's third soul skill, Mountain Quake Strike. Huo Yuao didn't choose to clash directly against the fist this time. He struck his palm towards the ground and leaned back. A row of jets appeared on his shoulders. When his wheelchair was propelled into the air by the rebound from his palm strike, the jets were also fired. Instantly, he shot several dozen meters into the sky. Wang Yanfeng's attack was a measure to stop Huo Yuao from attacking him anymore. With his current state, he wasn't able to lock onto his opponent. So Huo Yuan managed to easily dodge his mountain quake strike. However, Huo Yuan was still given a scare by the strength of the mountain quake strike. It unleashed a ball of green light, roughly the size of a human head. It stopped for a moment in the air before blowing apart, converting into a greenish black sphere more than five meters in diameter. The force of its explosion was immense. He must have completed the second awakening of his martial soul. While Huo Yuan was in awe, his body had already started to descend. Right now, the snow demon's sixteen members in the waiting area were all in shock. Who would have expected Huo Yuan to fly so high up in the air, even though he was in a wheelchair? Furthermore, he appeared very agile. His right hand was so powerful. How strong would he be if his whole body could move? The snow lady had already returned behind Huo Yuan's back. She pushed his wheelchair through the air, and a deep blue light shot forward. In this manner, she managed to slide his wheelchair down through the air, landing on the other side of the stage. Wang Yanfeng also took his chance to catch his breath. When he saw Huo Yuao on the other side of the stage, he felt helpless, and almost spat out blood in frustration. Although the main effect of spiritual shock had already disappeared, he still had a splitting headache right now. As he looked at Huo Yuao, he felt fear rising inside. He hadn't expected this opponent would be so difficult to deal with. When he sensed his own condition, he was on the verge of tears. His soul power had dropped by 40% after he was hit by Huo Yuao's spiritual shock and the subsequent attacks. He only had 60% of his soul power left. His soul power was very dense, considering that he was from the body sect. Ordinary soul masters couldn't compare to him at all. When the invincible barrier had first appeared, it had indeed caused a lot of problems for soul masters. Soul engineers who were financially sound loved to use their invincible barrier to protect themselves when they fought, just before using their strongest soul tool against their soul master opponent. It was a move that left many soul masters feeling helpless and depressed. However, soul masters slowly found a way to deal with this as time passed, even though they couldn't catch up to soul engineers in terms of technology. For example, they could launch an assault against the invincible barrier. While the assault couldn't harm their opponent, their soul power would fall significantly as the barrier came under attack. The stronger the assault, the greater the depletion. Of course, this was under the condition that the soul master wasn't forced back by his opponent. Huo Yuan used this fact to launch a few attacks, causing Wang Yanfeng's soul power to fall by almost half. This would undoubtedly be very useful for the rest of the fight. However, Wang Yanfeng wasn't a simple character either. He turned around to face Huo Yuao, but didn't chase after him. He remained where he was and took a deep breath, initiating the circulation of his soul power. As he recovered from his headache, he tried to adjust his condition. The elites of top ranked sex weren't easy to deal with, even under unfavorable circumstances. Wang Yanfeng didn't panic at all. Rather, he analyzed the situation. Huo Yuan's floor was too obvious. He needed his wheelchair to move. This meant that he couldn't fight like Wang Qiuwa, using a high speed and tempo to overwhelm his opponent. Wang Yanfeng was exploiting this opportunity to catch his breath. However, he turned grim following this. That was because he saw Huo Yuan brandishing a milk bottle, replenishing his own soul power. Wang Yanfeng had his own milk bottle, but there was one thing that Huo Yuan had judged accurately. The body sect had a very strong distaste for soul tools. While it had become less acute in recent years, they only used soul tools that had practical uses to them. For example, milk bottles, flying type soul tools, and protective type soul tools, such as the invincible barrier. However, Wang